All right. Just got off of work. I pet my dog. Took a big old dookie. I'm ready to play some Man of a Dam. You know, it never fails. When there's a period of time where I don't upload a video, and I come back and I upload something that's not Mario, or pretty much any time I upload something that's not Mario, I lose subscribers. <laughs> After uploading these, what did I do, three parts already? I think I've lost like 150 subscribers or something. I mean, like, I don't really care. But I just, I just see it and I'm like, every time, it never fails. But at least you guys are here enjoying the ride or getting super angry that I am not. How do I continue? Whoa, play the story online with the, wait, did I say don't, oh, I said don't play alone. How do I continue? Oh my God, I'm gonna flip out. Oh, thank God. If I, if I didn't save it or something somehow, I was gonna, oh, I was gonna stab a bitch. But hopefully you guys aren't getting angry with my decisions. So far, no one said anything. No dislikes have... Yeah, now I think about it, no dislikes have been on any of these videos. Good job, everyone. Thank you. But this is going to be the final episode, most likely. From what I can tell, the game's about four hours, is what I hear. And we are a little over three. We're probably close to three hours and 20 minutes, I think. So, yeah, that's probably be the final part. All right. Here we go. We got everyone back together. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. <laughs> Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, isn't this where she had this her heart stuff attack? I saw. It's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and. That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrible. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Alex. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? We're hallucinating. What do we know that's real? Where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. Um, where are the crew, really? You're gonna ask that? What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Um... This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And just like, like Tim. It. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I guess I gotta ask these. All right. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's up to that Maybe this is us collecting We're information. Time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Honestly, I'd be chilling out above deck. I'd, I'd just rather deal with the pirates at this point. Like if they come out, I think that at this point they can be like, yeah, maybe we should go. You know what I mean? Off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. God, censor yourself a little better, please. The kids know what you mean still. Oh, is this a bullet? Hell yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Maybe. Yeah, because they maybe they're hallucinating thinking the plane was a giant spaghetti monster. and You don't just let a spaghetti monster fly by and not shoot at it, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it was just, maybe the plane looked like a giant 
Jake Paul face. And you don't just let that shit slide, you know what I'm saying? Good thing I'm a small enough YouTube channel where I can't be called out by saying stuff like that. <laughs> Are you promoting violence against Jake Paul? Yes. Great. <laughs> Could've used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. I hate you. I hate you a lot for saying that. Don't worry, we'll have a bit of a review at the end of this. I'll give my thoughts. The pros, the cons, all that. Right now, I just want to focus on surviving. Okay, there's definitely Sakura over here, for sure. 100% of. Good secret. Cool secret. The best secret. But you guys didn't see that barrel. I did. And now I'm going to have the best ending because of it. Oh. Uh. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes I mean, can't open. you? Okay, that's actually higher than I thought. But ah, You guys should still fucking... There's a rope right there. Hanging. Was that really what it... Is that really what we're gonna do? Something like that? Or is this apparently low enough to give someone a boost? Hey! A little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. So I've watched two other people play this up to like a midway to episode two for us, for my videos. I'll pull you up. And they're quite different. Like, some have Conrad still with them. Like, they failed to escape and stuff. It's pretty cray-cray. Don't take your hands off. Don't scratch. Don't itch. Everything can... That was an odd shot. Okay. I was kind of hoping we'd hear more pitter-powder of the rain. I like that sound. Sound. Sorry, I have the hiccups right now. Or burp, burp ups, something like that. All right. Good thing the game stopped me. If he like <laughs> just had walked off and get, gotten killed, I would've been really pissed. Oh my God. Can you girls stand any more creepy like? Music swelling. Am I controlling this still? Yeah. Why did the music get like that, by the way? Oh no, we gotta go in there. Over here! I mean, maybe if you use the handle. Gotta wait through here. Ah, uh, fuck the handle. Yeah, okay. I don't do they not have handles? I just assumed a door had handles. What do I know? I'm just a Z gaming guy. Uh, oh. Interesting. Interesting. Was this the creepy room? Alright. Logbook. Let's see what crazy stuff's written in here. Is everyone ready? There better not be a lot of reading. Uh, last log shows him caught in a storm. Uh, weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast. Crew bearing up. Wind at storm force. Gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes. Um, okay. Wait. Bearing updated. Hold on, let me see what this says. Alex found a logbook with the name Orang and then a word beginning with M. That's the second time we had a word, a name, and then a, a word beginning with M, which we would assume is Medan, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this. Fliss found a captain's hat with a na name ending in G and then Medan. So, Orang Medan? Has to be, right? Boring Medan. Why is that important, though?
who knows, maybe we'll be asked a question later. And he's like, I'm going to stab you if you don't get this right. And we'll get it right. Alright. Oh, I can't poke the corpse? Alright. Jesus Christ, what are you standing in the dark for? God, that was terrifying. <laughs> that legit scared me. Fucking psychopath. Alright, um, there's so many ways to go. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Who? I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Okay. We don't need we don't need that. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Hmm. Interesting. Do you guys not hear that fucking static? Wouldn't that be the first place you look for a radio? Alright, cool uh... notes. Ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Search called off. Oh, because someone went overboard. This whole damn ship went overboard. How, how are you. You guys are the worst at searching. Yeah, ever. that's gross. What? Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. Okay. Oh, this was the guy who was doing the SOS, and the forearmed thing came in here. Or at least look. what he perceived as forearmed thing. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Oh, great. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Eight. Fifty-two. One eight six. Forty-nine. Thirty-two. Eighty-nine. Am I supposed to? Three. Five. You're saying way too much shit. I, I, I'm supposed to memorize this. No fucking way, dude. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Uh, Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. And power's gonna go out. We're on this, like, old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in. Also, oh, did we figure it out because of the clues we got? Hey! Come here, look! Yep. And here is where the deaths can pile up. I feel it coming. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? If 
you sure you're up for it? I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. I figured he knows more about just... <laughs> These motherfuckers died right now. I'm gonna be pissed as hell. <sighs> Julia? Okay, thank God. Fucking Christ. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Damn, that was a good catch. So yeah, I figured he's gonna be better with technology and he has the gas mask. Hey. After you. All right. Who am I controlling? I don't even know who I'm controlling right now. Okay. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. Uh, oh, this is the safe that that guy could get through, get into. Um. Minutes of meeting between scientists X, but extra meeting with our team, and he says we can mutually learn. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act. So, yeah, this. Oh, no. Yeah! I forgot to check the backside. Um. This definitely seems like it's adding up to what I was kind of saying before, where army using it for you know weaponizing some something like this um text the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed manchurian gold okay uh it triggered hallucinations okay okay good thing we saw that because now he knows You're gonna you're gonna mention this to Julia. Be like, hey, what you're gonna see is hallucinations. None of this is real, okay? Some sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Okay, yeah, this is when they punch each other over fifty cents. Where's my tree fitty? Well, if it's tree fitty, then at that point I understand. But fifty cents not quite enough to warrant. His behavior. I'm surprised. Why aren't you telling Julia about this hallucinogen? <laughs> By the way, uh, petty theft. Oh wait, we read this, didn't we? Yeah, we read this. Um, huh? With the guy. I guess there was a guy named Joe in sick bay. Yeah, he did. I mean, all of them are deed. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well. In any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Got her. God damn, you absolute savage. Well, shit. The game kind of is a lot less intimidating knowing that they're, unless he's throwing us a curveball and there actually is real things in the midst of it. Um... Let's see. I'm not seeing anything all that important. What did, uh... For a dollar, he told me his secrets. Oh, found 25 secrets. I mean, I'm definitely going to look through everything just so at least the characters know. Oh, Jesus. That's not Jesus. Do you guys know what Jesus looks like? So disrespectful. Hmm. 
someone pointed out that I missed a. Um, picture <laughs> that would say when son of somebody on board you know how someone might die premonition there we go that's what I was looking for and uh yeah I'm bad I'm a terrible person but I'm just see gaming guy what do I know hold on wait let's not go here yet let's check over here all right cool all right let's go <laughs> I couldn't walk any farther uh, it would suck walking on these. Hearing something? Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to oh. find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Are you okay? Oof. Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. God. That would hurt. <sighs> I don't know. I need a really good deal. Oh, God. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... It was wait, wait, didn't you see it? Um, Hello? Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Put it together. Put it together, please. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. Okay. Yes. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here. Maybe it hasn't dispersed after seventy years, and it's having the same effect on us. You know, paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so All the, the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here with us. Fucking Alex would have been like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have sex with Julia. But God damn it, Alex. Uh, okay. Yeah, bring in Brad. Right decision. Why did I question it? His name's Brad, right? Why am I questioning this? Yes. <laughs> Oh, great. Look how thick this is. Where is your mask, by the way? You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? What? Yeah. How'd you know? God damn, you're a fucking genius, Brad. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What if, like, it, do it pulls a some bullshit on us where... This is going to piss me off. What if it like shows a hallucination of like an enemy approaching, but like you don't know if it's real. And so you're like, oh, no, it's fine, whatever. And it's just a hallucination, but it's actually a pirate and they kill you. Or what if it shows something like the pirate coming at you, but it's actually like Alex or something and you kill them. If it does something like that, I'm kind of mad. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Is that all there is to it? Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! We need help, now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! Recovery mission is en route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Oh, come on, work 
damn it. Well, at least, uh... They're on their way, question mark? Whoa, I saw that lantern, what it just did. Don't pretend like it didn't do that. Yeah, acting all innocent, like you didn't just fling around that lantern. You damn crazy person. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a lifesaver. Yeah. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça! Ta gueule! Ah! Je t'avais oh, dit God. de fermer ta gueule! Oh fuck! Uh oh. Mmh. Mmh. Oh god, do we grab it? They're on their way. I mean, if he just often dies, then maybe we should. Oh no. Why are we just watching this? I have to get the fuck out of here. I almost pressed A. I don't know what he's saying. Tell me, chat. I mean, now we might as well grab it. He's hallucinating, obviously. We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Right? Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where'd it go? Did he grab it? I swear to God. <laughs> Why would you inspect it? Why'd you give her that? You're like, here, carry this. There's no oh, use hiding, course. you little foot. <laughs> well, it's because we took it. Sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in You've this had together, it. right? Trying You've already to had it. Me out of the deep. <laughs> oh, great. Can't have all the gold. Then I'm the king. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. Breathing down our necks. Shut up. Please tell me you have an escape plan. Can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Ah, the smug Americans uh. have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine, and now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! 
Oh, Christ almighty. That lag was freaking me out, man. Woo! I wanted to comment about how stupid that line was about the hammer thing, but, you know. Are you kidding me? Okay, just had to reset my camera. Please tell me we're safe. Get away from the door, just in case. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. What? Okay, okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Reason with him. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Shut Stop. up, Julia. Let me do the talking. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. God, chill out, you, you say that? fucking psycho. Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Okay, all, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us, you know? We could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no! You keep that thing away from me! Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. Just do it. Do it. Uh... No, no! I, 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 I can't see it! You're all right, man. There's no mist! Stop! Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying! The mist is inside! Keep me alive! 
Why don't you just let him kill himself? Oh, I could have said nothing, couldn't I? Hey, man, come on, just put the. Yeah, who cares? Oh, <laughs> fucking shit. And take the gun. I forget that saying nothing's an option sometimes, gonna be honest. Are you really? Are you really right now going to do this? They actually. <sighs> Olsen's still a thing, you know. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh. I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I wonder if because I made him cautious, I hid there. Fliss, come here. Oh my god, shut up. Why? I saw the the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs> you go after him. <laughs> There's a psychopath down here. Come, jo come join me, I'm scared. Also, get away from the radio, just in case. I wonder what inspecting that body would have done. Okay, this guy's clearly like all sorts of cray cray. This must have been what we just heard. Jesus. Jeez, God, oh no, what's scared that? Me. Does it matter? It's probably him. We need that distributor cap. Here, he had to have come this way. Oh my god, you guys, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, this is driving me insane. Oh, that shot clearly trying to show all the... Holy crap. Look gold. at that shit. Oh yeah, they, they haven't figured it out yet. They don't know that there's... Face it just so bad. Oh. 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 There's something here. Okay. Here's what this is the perfect scenario where we think it's Olsen, but it's actually our buddies. He dropped the hammer now, too, so it's not like we can see the hammer. Oh, is he just gonna die? Oh, that's convenient. Cool. That works. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Okay. So far, so good. Still curious on what the fuck Conrad's doing. I mean, he can't have gone too far, right? Oh my god, that was terrifying. Why that? Woo, woo. Yeah, no, I'm good. None of that, please. 
this is where he died, right? Oh, no. Um, of course, but they will restrict your movement around the plant, so it may be difficult to for, look for Jones. Your primary objective is clear, but your secondary objective when you reach your destination is to locate Jones and his men. Okay. Top Socrat. Top secret intelligence note. Uh, people gone missing during reconnaissance. Okay. A rat's eating him already, huh? Oh god, several rats are eating him. Fuck! Ugh. They wasted no time. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Off of me, you old psychopath. God damn these rats. All right. Oh my god, these rats are crazy. What are you doing? Are you seriously gonna knife fight these rats? And let go! <gasps> oh, oh! Hallucination! 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 Please, hallucination! Please, it's hallucination! Hallucinating, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, you're fine. Just wait it out, wait it out, wait it. Shit, is this thing really bad? I don't know! Look at this fucking big brain play. Ugh. Making all the right calls. God. That was a very convincing monster. That was smart of them to use the same thing that, like, the forearms and everything. And with the, you know, the skeleton. Okay, this feels very finale-esque. So it could have ended with you stabbing her, or yourself, if you thought you were stabbing a rat. I like how we put on an SOS. They're like, yeah, we're on our way. We're just like, fucking peace. <laughs> Alright. Let's try it. This is a hallucination. We're not actually leaving, I guess, but... Where's Conrad? Are you gonna, like, show me what the hell is going on with him? Oh. Are you seriously just... <laughs> fucking... The Coast Guard's like, yeah, man, just... Pay us enough money and we'll let you use the gun. Oh, no. But we're gone. Because we're assholes. Don't go in there. 
Do you think we, we should contact them with our radio? Be like, hey, we're good, actually. Don't bother coming. Oh, how'd you climb that? What the hell is this place? Oh, come on, Conrad. Is it uh, abandoned? Jump scare. Hello? Alex, Julia, are you guys here? Oh, it's gonna slam shut. It's dark as hell. Okay. Are we going to play as him? That would kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, so like we, we had three different ways of escaping. We, Conrad could have brought them if we had just waited. We called help. Or, and we just left. We did all three of those things. <laughs> I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. <laughs> Are you seriously saying that escaping was like the bad play? Okay, it's over. Um... For everyone who played this, are you going to judge me? Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. <laughs> Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Are you referring to Conrad? Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Inevitable? Ah. All right, Thanos. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm stoked that he's the. Uh, Want to spare me the, over till another year? Want to spare me over? The guy who kind of will be there for every game by these people. Okay, so yeah, you guys have to let me know how your endings turned out. Um, and if you saw what happened with Conrad if he didn't escape. Because would that have been better? You know what I mean? Is, is this implying that, like, he is going to inevitably get killed over there? Um, otherwise, we might have gotten the best ending. Um... The game was kind of predictable. I mean, we called the hallucination like way early on. Um, and it was just, it was more of a matter of making our characters figure it out. So I don't know why it was trying to have me save uh, what, what, the guy who shot himself in the head. I can't remember what his name is. Because uh, I was like, no, he can die. That's fine. <laughs> I don't control him, so it's not my problem. I'm not. I'm not responsible for him. Is there anything? Hold on. Ah. Okay. All right. So, my thoughts. Let's start with some of the good. So obviously, the game is very gorgeous, um, despite some facial animations kind of being a little awkward. 
uh, but like it looks really good. And sometimes the camera work feels annoying, but there's definitely times where like it's very cinematic, and I'm like, man, this looks like a movie. Like I, I said this several times throughout the playthrough. Um, I, I just playing one of these games again is fun, especially on the channel, because we can all kind of compare how ours turned out. You know, and when you play these kind of games, you always want to see other people's reactions to particular parts or how they did something, um, what different endings there are. So just being part of these kind of games is always fun to me. Uh, I honestly, that's kind of as far as the positives go. Like overall, I, I'm glad I played it. Um, but here's the problems. For one, the scares were not good. Some of them definitely made me jump, but that's because it's of the sudden loud noise and thing in your face. It was just, it was very cheap, you know? There just, there was a lot of cheap jump scares. And I think the one good one that stuck with me at least is when you're playing as I believe Fliss and the ghost of Brad walked behind you. Uh, and it was just kind of creepy. There was no noise or anything. It was just there. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm more like, okay, that was good. That was like the timing was good and everything. But a lot of them were just jump scares and a lot of them were rats. <laughs> and then you find out a lot of them weren't even real. They were just hallucinations. So the game could be like, yeah, I'm just going to do whatever. Um, and that, again, brings me back to what I was explaining, I think, in the last episode, where the hallucinations were basically manipulating people. Like, it was done in a way where people would kill each other or like you know if this person's afraid of spiders how do i explain this basically to where like these two people would happen to see the things that would make them kill each other you know what i mean um and it, it, it was it's just a little too convenient same thing with like the two-headed monster um because it's not like i guess alex did see it so maybe that was in his subconscious or something. I don't know. That's that's the best way I can explain that. When he saw the skull, the skeleton. I mean, um, hold on. Anything else? It's loading, and it's taking a while. So I guess I'll keep talking. I think the thing that bothered me the most about this game, though, were the f the writing was not good. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. The writing sucked. Um, and there were some things that just made no fucking sense. Like, when Fliss was trapped underneath... Oh, there's a thing. Oh, great. Okay, so Conrad probably died. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Oh, this is the next game by them, I think. Oh, everybody survived. Oh my god. That's cool that they tease it at the end of it. All right, 2020, Jesus. Okay, so yeah, when going back, anyway, going back, when Fliss was trapped in the in the water bit, and I was looking at that shovel just tons of fucking times, like this could be useful. Let's pick it up, and she's like, nah, nah. Like, first of all, that was kind of annoying in its own, but then. When she was like, oh, get the shovel. That can help me. And Brad's like, yeah, and just like pulling out the gate. And he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> she just said to get the shovel. And he's like, oh, it's almost full. I'm going to get the shovel. And it was like, Brad, you're the smart one. <laughs> like, I could see if this was Conrad or something, I'd be more like, okay, it's Conrad. Sure. But Brad, really? I don't know. That that one it stuck out a lot to me is like, what the fuck? But then the dialogue too. Like the jokes were, first of all, they weren't funny. 
So if you're going to force jokes into a scary situation, you better make them funny. They weren't. <laughs> and, like, it just ruins the mood, the tension. You know, like, and that's something I've always hated about something like Marvel movies. Um, th there's just all this death and destruction going around around you. Civilians are definitely dying. We're not going to, let's not pretend they're not. And they'll be like, oh, well, yeah, you hit harder than the beer I had last night or whatever. And it's just like, you realize what's at stake here right now, right? <laughs> like, that's why I don't like Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Um, and I know that's more of a personal thing. So some people might like the cheesy jokes and stuff, but I don't, I hate it. Um, so I wish it was taken a little more seriously, at least in the, you know, the first quarter, you can joke all you want, get them out of the way, get, you know, write your best jokes and put them in there. But once shit starts going down and lives are at stake, you drop that shit real quick. You know what I mean? Maybe if there's downtime, like, when there's downtime, I think you can sneak in a little better. You know what I mean? Where like everyone's feels a little bit more relaxed. Like they think they've escaped it, you know, and you're trying to lighten the mood, but like, it's just immediately after shit is happening. I don't know that, that just bothered me. Um, and it sucks because until Dawn was so good. And even though that was kind of campy as well, I think it was just executed a lot better. Now, there is a lot of different dialogue in this game from what I've seen. And like, you know, you're deciding your character's um, attributes with the choices you make early on. So when you're not in control of them, they'll do different things depending on how you make them behave. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but you can tell that it didn't, it doesn't flow well. Some scenes just felt weird like they didn't connect well at all the one that stood out the most to me was when julia saw two alex in the water um first of all it was so dark i couldn't even tell if both were alex or one was that uh guy who shot himself like they, they look similar enough to me um so i was like what the fuck is going on and then like they both get out and it's just it's a really awkward transition of him being like are you okay or whatever. And then you see someone like get thrown onto the land. And then someone else crawls out of the water. And then the body that was thrown on the land is gone. And I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> like, there's no flow to any of this. I can't follow it. And I doubt that's intentional. Like, because I get that it's a hallucination. So none of it's even real. But like, I don't know. That's that's another thing too. Is like saying saying it's all hallucination is like having this crazy adventure in a movie and stuff, but then it turns out it's just a dream. It's like none of it mattered. You know, like none of this stuff was even a threat. Like we were just walking through a ship. And that's kind of annoying. Um so in the next game, because I'm going to play it. I like these people and I hope that they learn from this and from what I can tell this game hasn't been doing too hot. Like people are like, yeah, you know, it was a good time. I had fun playing it, but it wasn't that great, which is, I agree with. And it sounds like I'm really shitting on the game. Like it's not that I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't hate it and I wouldn't mind watching someone else play through it. And I'll probably watch people play th through this after. Um, Cause I still do want to see what else happens. But like when you compare this again to until dawn or Detroit become human or the first season of the walking dead, uh, this is not as good as those, but easily the highlight for me is this man here. He was, uh, so charismatic. And every time he was on screen, I just was like, oh yeah, I like, why can't like the whole game just be this guy talking to me and judging me? <laughs> I just want him in all of my games to judge me. Well, yes, you did play the Mario level, but did you really conquer the Kaizo in it? Like that's, I just want him to be there. Anyway, overall, still glad we played through it. Um, and I'm glad the ones who watched that you seem to have been enjoying it. Also, another thing I want to point out that I really, really liked, and I hope they continue doing this, is having him in the background of major decisions. I didn't notice him a single time while recording, but while I'm editing, I'll bet you I'll, I'm going to be looking for it more, so I'll probably see it. But like, let me know if you caught him at all during this episode, because um, I'm going to be curious obviously i missed him if he was there but yeah i hope that they continue to do that because that was super cool i like when things do that anyway that was man of medan next year uh 2020 we have little hope and i will probably be playing that as well 
Uh, hopefully it turns out a little better and uh, the threats are not just hallucinations. That's my hope. And they continue with this gentleman and appearing in the background. That's all I want in life. And uh, I don't know if I'll be doing anything on Death Stranding. Maybe the Monster Hunter um, expansion when it comes out in a couple days. Like I said, Smash. Smash Bros. I want to do something on. Maybe Borderlands 3. I don't know. Maybe a bit of a live stream on that. We'll see. And I feel like there's one other game. Oh, I was going to play Greedfall, but that's more of a game. I, I'm not going to record that one. I'm just going to play it. If I, I might let you guys know how I feel about the game, though, in uh, Z Talks or something, if you guys are interested. Anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the series, and I will see you in the next one.